SpaceX is the new kid on the block, born in 2002 from PayPal billionaire Elon Musk. His company set out with a lofty mission to colonize Mars. Do you ever question if you're crazy? Yes. I think it's important to question your sanity because at the point at which you stop questioning your sanity, you're probably insane. The end of NASA's shuttle program left the world with only one way to get to the International Space Station, Russia. We're, we're forced to pay over $70 million per seat to the Russians just to go to the space station. It's just kind of embarrassing that the United States has to thumb rides from the Russians. A new shuttle will soon take flight, but NASA won't be making it. They have become the client instead of the boss, with private enterprise assuming the majority of the physical and financial risk. Elon Musk has sunk $100 million of his own fortune into SpaceX. SpaceX's Dragon is a capsule design meant to hold both crew and cargo and can stay in orbit for up to two years. How much cheaper is it going to be to send an astronaut to the International Space Station using Dragon? Dragon can take up to seven people and if NASA uses the full complement of crew and orders four per year, we can do it for $20 million a person. What is unique about the Dragon? We went out and looked at, you know, all the electronic revolution that's been going on over the last 10, 20, 30 years and, and looked at the very best that's out there and say, how do we apply that to space? We're looking at a Dragon right now. Yeah. Come on up. <laughs> I don't think it's that substantially more expensive to fly crew, actually, because um, for cargo, you have a lot of requirements on how you treat that cargo. We have to provide power and data to all the cargo items. So a lot of that core functionality uh, remains the same. And liftoff of the Falcon 9 rocket and Dragon. The SpaceX Dragon capsule is launched into space by the company's own rocket called Falcon 9. Dragon is the first commercial spacecraft in history to deliver cargo to the International Space Station and safely return to Earth, a mission previously achieved by only three nations. And this is the first uh, Dragon spacecraft. You can see the, the heat shield and the scorch marks. This, this came in like a flaming meteor. And how did it feel when, when that came back in one piece? It felt great. It was like, wow, I can't believe it worked. We're kind of like a Silicon Valley technology company that's doing space. What qualifies you to put human beings in outer space? Every launch of the Falcon 9 rockets, which is the rocket that would carry astronauts, has succeeded. So it's got a 100% success rate, which is... I mean, the best success rate of any rocket ever.